So, welcome back to Deck of Craft. Hello, hello, hello. So, as you can see, things are coming together in places that they weren't coming together before. Before we work on some stuff in today's episode, um, and before we recover what we're doing um, around the map, because a few things have been added that I'd like to just briefly go over, um, and I would like to do a little bit of building today. Not, not loads, not loads. Um, but yeah, before we go over that... I just want to briefly say that um, last week wasn't the best. Thank you for bearing with me um, and being supportive. It means a lot. Um, and I know that like I don't have a massive audience, especially for Minecraft. But it means a lot that you know the people that do watch my videos don't really care. You know if I take a couple of days off, it's quite nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping today will be a lot better. And it would be really, really great if I could get multiple episodes of Minecraft done in advance, preferably over this weekend, so that I can start uploading a little bit more frequently. But I'm going to start working on the market area. So, something that I spoke about very, very recently um, was I, I take a lot, of, a lot of inspiration from FWIP, which I've mentioned before. FWIP is massive, massive deal for me. I try my best to keep up with everything that he uploads. Um... I think he's brilliant, my favourite Minecrafter right now. I don't watch a lot of just general YouTube, I sort of watch Gemini Tay every so Gemini Tay or Trey? Gemini Tay every so often. Um, I think she's really, really cool. And Fwip. I used to watch B dubs and I used to watch uh, hold on, I can't even say his name anymore. Sjin. There we go, fucking hell. It's a mouthful now. Um but obviously a lot of stuff happened with Shin, we don't talk about him. So, and B-dubs kind of just wore off for me, I guess? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I watch a lot of Flip, and something that I sort of took inspiration from recently was he does a lot of projects at the same time as each other and sort of manages to multitask and bounce between them all to try and keep himself a little bit busy and keep his inspiration high. So that's what I've been trying to do. So, through the roof up, which I think I've shown you already, so maybe that's irrelevant. Um, but as you can see, I've mar marked out, like, the market area, which was something that I really, really wanted to do. And we're going to be marking out where the stall covers are going to go, and hopefully we can get a little bit of wool to actually do that. And also, I've been marking out the exterior town of Greydale, over by the Redstone Ravine, which we're going to go take a look at in today's episode as well. So we've got a few things to go have a little bit of a gander at. And I'm quite excited. Um, like I said, very, very busy week last week. And I played quite a few games, but Minecraft, as much as my inspiration has been high, like it just wasn't really on my radar. Which is a shame, because I really fucking love this world now, now that I've like started making more progress on it. It seems like the more I do, the more I want to keep on playing, which is awesome. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do for that section over there, by the way. I keep on mentioning it, and we had the idea of putting the road going along the river and stuff, but I've got no fucking clue. <laughs> Deep down, I'm just winging it. It is, like, so difficult to actually make my ideas come to life at the moment. I'm just, like... Trying to focus so hard on building and just get as much done as possible within an episode. So as you can see, we've got the path coming down from like the sort of entry courtyard. We'll probably have a name for this courtyard eventually. So we've got the path coming down and then I want it to branch off and I've started using a little bit of cobble because I like the idea that there's a lot of traffic that comes down here so the path wouldn't be as nice for a little bit of cobble in there to mix it up a little bit. Um, and we've continued to put down the wool, obviously, but the path's going to go through here and hopefully round to create like this little U-shape and connect up with this side again, because um, I want to put a stall here as well. I don't know why I haven't really mapped it out. I think I was just maybe didn't have the room, or maybe I'd run out of materials at the time. I don't know. Let's map it out now. Uh, we don't want it to be like a massive stall, so I'm leaving sort of like little sections for the stall owners to get inside of their stalls. So like there's one here, there's one here, there, and there. 
and they've got like their own little shared communal area at the back of it and I thought that might have been quite a cool little idea but I'm not sure how these stalls are gonna look <laughs> they're a little bit janky at the moment and a little bit all over the place I'm trying to sort of go against the curve of what I usually do which are like just normal basic square market stalls and I'm, I'm, I'm kinda digging it kind of feeling it I guess <laughs> we'll see we'll see it's like one of those little experimental things you know you never know how it's gonna turn out until it's done essentially but we're using dark oak fences as like little supports for the coverings and then on top of the coverings we're gonna be putting some white wool to prevent the snow from building up on top of the wool the wool oarings and cut and uh, like little sheets and stuff because they usually have like the striped sheeps uh, sheeps the striped sheets going over the top of the market stalls um, and that's what I want to do but as you know I recently turned all of my sheep white <laughs> so that we could deal with the snow situation uh, I've still got shears on me because I've been visiting very regularly I'm a regular now but I think we've got like a lot of dyes or we've got a lot of things to make dyes or we can we can make a lot of basic dyes more like so that's fine I've, I'm kind of feeling maybe we should breed these a little bit more just to get like one or two extra because we I mean we get 29 that's pretty good it's pretty good go ahead and whack those in there right I mean we've got a little bit in here already I could probably make one using the purple so we can demonstrate it a little bit and get like one stall done and then I'll do the rest off camera because it's going to take me a while to get the wool sorted so I'm thinking this one because we've done all the supports on it um, I'm just trying to think like size wise size wise sizing wisings I'm thinking Ooh, hey. up there but then we bring it down like so Oh, I probably should have brought the shears with me. I didn't realise that I would have to be breaking some wool. <laughs> I want to mark it all out. Oh, mark it. There's a fucking pun there. Hello. I want to mark it all out like so. And then replace certain sections of it with the brighter wool. Just so that we already know where it's all going to go. Uh, so like that. And then... Like that, there we go. And then I, I kind of feel like we should also have a support here. Like so. So that's kind of what it would look like. And then we need to go in and just change little sections of it into purple. So I'm going to take out this side section to hopefully create a little stripe. Oh. And then, oh god, I need to try, try and somehow get into the middle. We'll put a stripe here. This is a pretty good area for a stripe. A lovely stripe. There we go. So we've got two stripes for the purple. Maybe we should put one here as well. Boom. How's that looking? That looks okay. It's not too much. I don't want it to be, like, uniform and neat so like I don't want the stripes to be like evenly parted or anything like that I really want it to look messy like it's literally just bundles of dyed cloth that they've used for shelter um, and then obviously we will make some white carpet and let us just climb on top of here boom 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 so from above it's just going to be pure white uh, on the map From below it should look like some snow has settled. <laughs> That's the plan. Oh, I didn't realise that that was a chunk of the wool. Boom. And that's how I'm going to do all of the market stall coverings. So, like I said, it's pretty basic. But, um, I think once they're all done and once they're all sort of piled together, it should look pretty nice. Uh... I also would like to mark out some more stuff in today's episode. 
what we're going to do first is sleep. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to go over to the Redstone Ravine and show you guys what I've mapped out over there. Because there's quite a few things and it's fairly important. Fairly important. <laughs> there are more important things. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to start marking out maybe like some more houses in this area. Or, I don't know, just as much as I can with the logs that I've got. Because like I said, I'm trying to build more, trying to get more done. It's not like I haven't got the materials. And with it being the weekend, I feel like I've got more of a hope. I don't know why, but I just seem to do more on the weekend. Even though I don't do anything at all, any of the, any of the time. So, as you can see, there's some outlines for houses. So, you may not have seen in a previous episode, but I did this big massive outlining structure and I started it and I was like, you know, no, 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 I can't do this right now. I will come back to this. And this is going to be a diorite and stone brick warehouse, which will be the home to all of the redstone in the world. This is going to be like the main distributor of redstone and we're going to transform this ravine into a big redstone ravine with like these big massive chunks of redstone veins sticking out the sides of it and cranes lifting it out and stuff. That's the plan. And I felt like it would kind of make sense if there was some houses out here. So I started marking out some houses and I didn't do the supports for all of them. But every so often I'm going to come over here and hopefully finish one of the little houses because they're not exactly going to be massively detailed or anything. Um, we've got quite a few of them. I've got the outline for a crane over there as well. Oh no, Mr. Polar Bear. The polar bears have been a right pain in the ass recently and they keep hanging off the side of the ravine <laughs> and it makes me really sad but I don't, I can't be asked to go rescue him. I'm sorry Mr. Polar Bear or Mrs. Polar Bear, I think it's a Mrs. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, plenty of houses for like the workers that live out here um, and I might have like a little guards quarters in there. I want to put up like some watchtowers as well, sort of like Skyrim style protecting the area and maybe like a little gatehouse um, by the road so that you know anything coming by road they have to service and check and make sure it's safe and things like that. I want to do loads of different things um, and basically have a little bit of Greydale outside Greydale which might sound weird but I kind of know what I mean. <laughs> Don't judge me I was just checking to see if I had any snow to plug this up. I'm gonna have to do a lot of terraforming as well. Um, but yeah, that was something that I worked on. Nothing majorly important. It's just like a little side project. So if you see a house pop up over there <laughs> and I don't mention it, it doesn't mean I'm cheating or anything. It just means I'm working on it in the background very, very slowly. Um, but yeah, hopefully the path will connect up to that side entrance and then connect up to the Redstone Ravine. And I'm thinking it would probably make a little bit of sense to maybe have like some warehouses over here or something. So, maybe we can mark that out today. Just put like a, a very small warehouse there, and maybe one next to it. Literally as small as I can make them, without them looking ridiculous. And we can actually fill those with redstone, and maybe put some carts and stuff out here. Just to kind of make it feel like everything's connected, and everything's got like a genuine point <laughs> of being there. Um... I need some more spruce. I'm gonna go grab some more from the from the place. What what's uh, the fucking storage room? I forgot what the name of it was. I wonder if we've got any out here. We've got two. We've got a grand total of two. Congratulations, guys. We've got the two. Like I'm really really happy with how much progress I'm making lately. I feel like the past sort of three or four episodes, I just feel like I've increased how much I've done so much. And it's all coming together now. I'm gonna grab, oh I've got a shroom light, oh no. I thought I had some. Maybe we could start putting glowstone in the path as well, but I kinda feel like that might be mixing it up a little bit too much. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. It might be something to consider. Because I feel like the shroom light is a little bit difficult to obtain. Well. I could always go over to like one of the actual crimson or warped biomes, I guess, rather than trying to grow them myself. Growing them yourself is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> it takes so long. 
I just have no patience for it at all. Right, so, we need another road going down here, so all of this area will have to remain open. I suppose I could actually fit, maybe like a building in here? Hello, there's a piece of shroom light here, which can't stay here. <laughs> it was like, well, I'm taking that little bugger. Let's also move that. So yeah, I'm thinking I could probably fit a house here somewhere. Uh, do a little bit of messing around. A little bit of buggery. We do love a good bit of buggery. So if we make this one sort of size-wise, can't, uh, can't. If we make, <laughs> if we make this one uh, size-wise quite small, but then maybe make it a little bit taller, we might be into something, into something, onto something. My words today are evidently all over the fucking place. My hay fever's been all over the place. Everything's been all over the place. That's not part of it, is it? No. Yeah, that leaves the road size there. That's that's easily enough. So then we go two, three, four. Bring it up like that. And that gives us like a rough idea of the size of this house. Wait. And I think we should probably take this house up to like maybe three. Two or three, I don't know, we'll, we'll experiment with it. Maybe three is a bit too much, actually. Like, I'm looking at the towers, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't really want anything going over the towers, if I can help it. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, big, massive thank you to Patty ASMR, before I forget. I like ASMR. You might find that weird. I don't know. Is it still weird? Might be a weird thing. I don't know. Um, but I think it's really, really cool that, like, another YouTuber watches my videos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really really nice to see supporting comments and stuff and he said that this place reminded him of Winterfell and that's the vibe I was going for like Winterfell bit of Windhelm from Skyrim um, so it's really nice that that's been translated across so big shout out to him if you like ASMR go check that out go check out his channel and then I'm thinking maybe we do like a little bit of a shorter like Usually I'd put the block down there and I'd put the block down there and boom, that's the house. But I'm kind of thinking, maybe, put the block there but then we dip in one and we go a little bit risky. And we do a bit of a weirder shape. We'll see how that turns out. Because <laughs> that might be, that might not be a good thing that I've just done. Um, no, actually, no, if I do the, I, I'm like working out the roof in my head. If I do the roof with like an, an A arch there and an A arch here and then connect it up, then we'll be in the money. We'll be in the money. We still need to do a little shed here. I've not forgotten TJ's house, which he's yet to move out of. I don't know if he ever will. I doubt it. So we want a little shed. Maybe we want a, a bigger shed, actually. That's quite small. Um, Yeah, that open area, I don't really like. I want to... Bring that out a little bit. Pardon me. That was, I think, a burp. <laughs> Don't fully know what just left my mouth. Maybe that's big enough. I mean, it looks big enough to me. I might have a few issues with the roof there. But, um, I think we could probably make it work. It's going to be, like, very crammed together and tight, but... Like, with this sort of like farming area I kind of wanted that vibe anyway oh I know that this this episode I haven't done anything like majorly thrilling or <laughs> I haven't finished any projects projects but I just feel like getting things outlined is so nice to do when you do it on camera because it means then you can do it all off camera <laughs> <laughs> and then it's not weird for people because they're like, oh, well, I saw the outline of that. So he's clearly just filled the rest in. So that's how big that little warehouse will be. And I feel like we should probably have the road. Uh, I don't have anything to place down for the road, unfortunately. But the road will go all the way over to that side entrance. We'll bring it down round, 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 go all the way up and hook up to there. And probably dip in a little bit here so that we can have a building here. Um, but I need it going through 
where this building is. Oh, sorry, madam. Pardon moi. Um, I need it, like, cutting past where this building is, because back here we've got our barracks, which I marked out ages ago, and then it got covered up with snow, and then the snow disappeared, and I remembered it were here. <laughs> so, the whole point of this is that it's going to hopefully connect up to that part of the walls, um, and yeah, it should be quite cool. I wanted to do, like, a little archery range, and have, like, a little barracks section with, like, dorms and things, and it could be quite cool. So I'm going to leave it there and hopefully work on more of this over the weekend. And if I can, I'll get another episode done so we can have two episodes next week. That might be quite good. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. A little bit of a weirder one. We got the market stall done. We did some outlines and I showed you guys the Redstone Ravine project. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep on working on stuff, getting more materials. We've got a n normal mining trip planned because we need some iron. <laughs> we have not been normal mining since like episode 5 I think or 6 we've not been mining for ages so that's what we've got planned this weekend I hope you've enjoyed this episode feel free to give it a thumbs up if you did and yeah leave some feedback in the comment section if you want and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye